Hello and welcome to Pam's Piggy Bank and Money Box Collection and today we're looking at souvenirs. Now the first thing I need to say is just because they're souvenirs doesn't mean I know where they came from or who bought them. Um, this one for example I do know where it came from because it is a Canadian totem pole. It's very worn, a lot of its paints chipped off and to be honest, it's very ugly, but it's really lovely, if you see what I mean. A lot of work went into it when it was done, and it has its um, place of origin on the bottom. And it's very plain on the back. I know it came from Canada, because it says so. Um, and I know that it was in a charity shop, because that's where I bought it. But that's basically all I can tell you about this one. The slot is in the, what I think is an eagle, but it could be an owl, um, in his head and the stopper is in his bottom. And he's great. Now this one was a present and I believe the person who bought it for me bought it somewhere, not in the UK. I get this idea because this post box is not typically a UK post box of any era. Um, it's got no decoration to speak of. These are, that's a handle to pull. First of all, you unlock it with this and then the handle is to pull it open or pull it down. And there's the word post and there's the back of it. And not very much to say about it, except I don't know where it came from. It's got a slot there and a stopper there and it's a post box, but it's, I have no idea where it was a souvenir from, but now it's mine. It's my souvenir, even though I don't think it's American, which is I've got a lot of American money boxes and I don't think that's American. But the fact that it's post suggests that maybe it is American. Because I can't, well, I don't know, maybe Canada has the word post on their boxes. I don't know. So anyway, it's lovely but I don't know very much about it. And I know even less about this. I've got the idea that it's um, something like a town hall or a manor house because it's quite large and it's got a lot of windows. It's got a lovely roof and a lovely chimney. It's got trees and a lovely wooden door, a few steps going down and more windows, but no windows at the back. Hmm. If you were going to burgle this, you'd come in through the back and then climb in one of these windows, wouldn't you? Not that I'm teaching you how to burgle. Anyway, so there's his stopper. And if you're thinking that's a really nice new shiny stopper for such an old building, it's actually mine. I put it in because he didn't have one. And I thought the other week I was going to start doing that, so I've done it. So there he is, lovely chimney, lovely windows. And there's the slot. Not hidden, but against the blue. It's not that easy to see, but it is there. So there we have it. Three souvenirs, which I know definitely came from the attic. But I can't tell you any more than that. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for visiting me. If you like me, give me a thumbs up or subscribe. And if well, whether you like me or not, you're always welcome to come back and see me. Oh, where's the slot? There it is. See me anytime. Thanks for calling in. Bye bye now. See you soon.